Enrico, on the evening concert of the 9th, you are playing Webern. Now, the theme of the whole festival is um, singing. How easy is it to sing on a piano playing Webern? I think Webern is the result of uh, the romantic and late romantic tradition, and this music is so condensed that uh, all the expression must go into tiny bites of music. It's like the music is getting, is dissolving, let's say, into silence. And since our task as musicians is always to sing, so to sing on a piano, on a cello, on, I mean, singing is our, we come from the ancestors who used to sing and to make maybe noise with drums, so there is rhythm and lines as you hear birds or everything, I mean, so it's very important to keep this in mind and to play this music as intense as possible in every little detail. So I really consider this as hyper-expressive music and hyper-singing in a very intense way. And a lot of people um, associate Italy with singing. Um, is it true that um, singing is part of their uh, being? And, in, and, and um, how does that translate to uh, playing uh, 20th century music in Italy? Because is there a big you know, audience for 20th century music in Italy? Well, I must say the bigger audience in Italy, is, as you say, is for opera. Because we have always been a very operatic country and as you know Italians like to express themselves also a lot with the gesture with the hands and with the high-pitched voice and if you enter a restaurant or somewhere it will be always quite noisy because we like to express things in a very direct way so it's indeed a country of singing and I don't know if in Italy there is a large public for Weber music but uh, I think it's music that deserves uh, a lot of attention. So did, did you ever play it in Italy, Bebon? Yes, I did play it, uh, yes. I played some pieces for pi piano and violin. Yes. And, and um, so, so if you play something like that, like that uh, in what kind of program do you combine it to uh, lure um, Italians into that kind of music? Well, it's good to put it together with like romantic music just to uh, let the people know and understand where it comes from, so not to get it isolated from the picture, from the tradition. It just uh, ends and breaks. So it's with Brahms, with Schumann, but also with Beethoven. And do you think the audience in Delft is uh, more experienced in that sense? Well, I would say the audience is very sensitive and specialized one. In, in the Netherlands, I must say, there is always a lot of attention and people are ready to recognize the musical values in the playing. So I'm always quite happy about the audience. Okay, we're looking forward to the piece. Thank you.